Okay, time for some cleanup. Now, one I use is this Revlon angled uh, eyeshadow brush. Now, I'm going to need to get a new one soon because you can see the bristles are a bit, you know, too bristly. Um, but uh, I just dip that in non acetone remover and um, go about my cleaning business. Um, so I'll show you what I do and the, the reason why, well one of the reasons why you want an angle brush is um, because it just gets around the corners or around and it always come in from the back, well usually anyway, and you can see that there's a little bit here and we want to just take that a little bit further or down from the cuticle, so down from the cuticle area, hopefully you can see that, and you just do it really gently because you don't want to go down too far because then you'll just have to paint your nail again. So just like this, and you just keep edging down, you wipe your brush on your paper, um, like so, just keep going down until you get a nice smooth line. I mean, a lot of those lines and stuff can be smoothed out with um, Seche Vite, which is the top coat that I use, and I'll be putting that over this white shortly, because now... To get around the edges and because of the camera angle it's not going to be very easy so I'm just going to lift my finger up and I usually just go like this and go around and just follow the line, the natural curve of your nail like that so you get a nice round line, a nice clean line, go around the side um, just to get it nice and smooth like so and that's how you get nice clean lines so you can take a nice photo. I kind of stuffed up there a bit, but I just I swiped with um, my paintbrush <laughs> the side of my nail, but I just filled it in with a bit of paintbrush, but a bit of um, white nail polish. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do tonight, but um, I pretty much always start with a white base, no matter what I do, unless I'm using black, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, cleanup's pretty easy. It does take practice. Um, just like with everything. So as long as you practice, you'll get to it. It'll become like second nature to you, just like anything else. And that's the cleanup. And I'll probably put more cuticle around my cuticles too because I just can't stand dry cuticles. Anyway, so um, I may or may not be back with some nail art. I haven't even decided what I'm going to do. So thank you.